What's going on everybody, JCSB here, and welcome to episode 31 of season 2 of our Minecraft Let's Play. So, how are you all doing? I hope you all are having a great Wednesday. Uh, it'll be Wednesday by the time this episode is uploaded. Anyways, in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is preparing for a trip to the nether. Now, what I mean by that is that we're going to get in a nether portal up and running. We actually don't have one on this world just yet. Uh, we're going to take out this creeper, I guess which has nothing to do with nether. And... Uh, we're also going to, you know, get a couple chests filled with some armor and materials we're going to take over, like cobblestone uh, to build a base and things of that nature. So uh, we have a lot of work to do for sure. I've already decided where I'm going to put my nether portal. I'm going to end up putting it down in the furnace room by, you know, where all of our furnaces are, obviously. So the first thing we need to do is grab our diamond pickaxe. Let me put some gunpowder away real quick. Anyway, so we're going to head on down to our mining quarry because, you know, that's the only place we have obsidian at the moment. And uh, there's a pretty good amount of it down there. I should probably keep my sword in my hand, though. Uh, that'd probably be a good idea. Let's switch these up. Alright, so let's head on down there. Alright, so here we go. Here's our ravine. Let's hop up here. And uh, I'm hoping we're not going to have any more uh, aerial attacks from skeletons like we had the last time we came down here to get some obsidian. Uh, we had like two or three skeletons actually jump down uh, from one of the top stories up here and try to, you know, no-scope us on the way down, which was kind of insane. So, hoping that doesn't happen again. could probably jump down into that water. Yeah, because there's where I get out. Let me see if I can do that instead. That might be a lot quicker way down. Uh, save you guys a lot of, you know walking that you'd have to watch me do so let's hop on down here let's see how this works yeah that'll work <laughs> ah, work smarter not harder that's the motto anyways so for another portal you technically only need 10 pieces of obsidian because you don't need the corner blocks but i don't like doing what's called a ghetto portal which is where you leave the corners out so i'm gonna collect 14 pieces now luckily they've shortened the time or the amount of time that it takes to break an obsidian block, but uh, it still is pretty, it still is a pretty long amount of time regardless, uh, you know, no matter how much they shorten it, it still is going to take uh, a really long time to, you know, break a single block, so uh, I'm going to speed this part up because I know for a fact that I wouldn't want to watch somebody break obsidian up like this, uh, which probably means that the majority of you wouldn't like to watch it either, so let me speed this up and I'll get back to you as soon as I've collected 14 pieces. Alright guys, well, that's 14 pieces. Now we can make uh, a professional nether portal. And you can really tell that uh, the amount of time it takes to mine a single block of obsidian has been shortened. It doesn't seem like it's been shortened much, uh, but you definitely can, uh, you know, tell the difference. So it is nice that they've taken that into consideration and uh, it makes things a lot easier. Anyways, I want to try something a bit new today. Normally when I do these Minecraft Let's Play series, now remember uh, that I have over a hundred of them total now. Uh, if those of you who are new to my channel, uh, you can obviously see that this is episode 31, but I did have a first season of the Let's Play that had 72 episodes, so that's what I am referring to when I say that I have over 100. Anyways, uh, like I said, I, I normally just talk about the gameplay, what I'm actually doing on camera, and I talk about things that have to go along with Minecraft and you know the Minecraft or the YouTube community, but uh, today I want to talk about uh, life kind of in general, and that might sound a bit like Seananners, because that's typically, uh, typically what he does, but uh, before anyone thinks I'm trying to copy him or anything, uh, I wanted to try it out. I wanted to, you know, talk about a little bit more personal stuff that pretty much everyone goes through, and, uh, you know, feel free to tell me what you thought of it. it. It won't be an everyday thing, because I do enjoy talking about the gameplay itself, but uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, having a bad day. Now, uh, let's face it, we all do have bad days. We, I can guarantee you everybody watching this video has had a bad day, if not multiple bad days before. And uh, we all probably will have another bad day after today, uh, sometime in the future. But uh, today, the day wasn't terrible. It wasn't fantastic either. Uh, I'm not going to talk about all the stuff that went on because uh, it's simply not necessary for you guys to know everything, but... Uh, I do want to tell you guys a little bit, so 
uh, you know, just, just basically I wasn't in the greatest of moods today. I was almost late for school. I woke up uh, extremely late, a lot later than I normally do. And uh, I was rushed getting out of the house. Now, I usually sleep in pretty late uh, to begin with, and I normally am rushed, but uh, today was a bit worse, and I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. As I mentioned in the last episode, I have been staying up a lot later than I would like to. That is to get YouTube done and schoolwork. Uh, the combination of them both, uh, you know, results in me staying up pretty darn late. But uh, it's not a big deal. I don't want you guys to uh, feel bad or anything for me staying up late for school. Or, I mean, for YouTube, that's my decision. Uh, you know, I don't mind staying up late for YouTube. It's fun. I enjoy doing it. It's a fun hobby to me. Uh, but, anyways, like I was saying, uh, I had trouble staying awake in all my classes today because I really, really was exhausted. And uh, I had my teacher, the teacher in my last class of the day, uh, kind of call on my name in class to have me answer a question uh, because... Uh, he knew I was kind of dozing off a bit, and I've never actually fallen asleep in class before, which is something I am proud of. Uh, I, I don't fall asleep in class ever, really. Uh, how did that redstone... Oh, that's for the door, isn't it? Let's go up and fix this door. But anyways, uh, he kind of called on my name because I'm pretty sure he knew that, you know, uh, I was on my way to falling asleep, and uh, I got the question wrong. And I mentioned in the last episode that I do take school pretty seriously, and I usually pay very good attention in class, and I usually, uh, you know, don't get, I guess, questions wrong when asked in class. But today I did, and it was a bit embarrassing, and I felt bad because uh, I like to think that I have uh, an okay relationship with the teacher uh, in not in a non-weird way, if, if you're wondering. Uh, you know, I'm just... Uh, he doesn't seem to dislike me, and I think he's an alright teacher as well. Anyways, uh, and for those of you, uh, any of you that have ever actually been, uh, had that happen during school, I know a lot of you probably have, because uh, it's pretty common. You see it on the TV shows all the time. Uh, you know, someone's not paying attention to class, but uh, it is a bit embarrassing. And uh, on top of that, today I wasn't just really feeling motivated to do really anything. And uh, just a quick side note, as I'm talking about all this, uh, this is not meant to bring any of you down. I hope it's not like, uh, you know, uh, a downer or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm just simply, you know, venting a bit. But uh, like I was saying, you know, I didn't really feel motivated to do anything today. I didn't, uh, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really feel like recording this episode, but I decided that you guys deserved better from me. And uh, I've actually gotten over my little, I guess, bad mood, you can call it. I mean... Uh, I kind of feel like a wimp for, for letting it take that big of a toll on me, but in all honesty, it's something that we do all go through and uh, should not be something that's embarrassing, uh, you know, to go through. And it's not like I have depression or anything before anybody asks. Uh, I know that that question is waiting. No, I, I'm generally a really happy person, and I usually I, you know, don't have too many bad days, especially not during the school year because I'm kept pretty busy. But I don't know, today I just... Like I said, really wasn't feeling that motivated, and uh, I just, I don't know, it wasn't one of the greatest days, let's just say that, but uh, I wanted to kind of let you know what my ideas on having a bad day are, and that might sound a bit strange, but I've been realizing a lot lately that I have a ton in my life to be thankful for. Uh, you know, I'm healthy, my family's healthy, and I realize that that's not a luxury uh, that everybody gets to enjoy. I realize that there are uh, you know, pretty bad diseases and illnesses out there that, you know, anyone in my family could possibly have. And uh, to not have that happen and not have that be a part of my life is something I'm very thankful for. And I've realized that uh, when you have a bad day like I had today, uh, you lose track of the bigger things in life and uh, you start to think that, you know, life sucks just because you had one bad day and then uh, you realize that, you know, two weeks from now, I'm not even going to remember today. I'm not even going to remember that the day kind of sucked. You know, I'm just going to go back on to, you know, everyday regular life. And uh, I will totally forget about this because it's really not that big of a deal. It's not that important. And I've been trying to tell myself lately that I do need to uh, keep that in mind a bit more than I normally do because... Uh, I'll, I'll have one of these bad days, and then later down the road, I'll have such an amazing day, and I'll just be so thankful for it, and I'll realize, 
you know, wow, uh, I let such little things like, uh, you know, not getting enough sleep or uh, what you would call it, um, I'm losing my train of thought here, or, uh, you know, getting called out in class and getting embarrassed, uh, things like that really aren't that important, and it's not something that, like I said, you'll remember for too long or uh, have to deal with, you know, uh, it's just a, a really temporary thing that, you know, can easily be gotten over. And uh, I've just been trying to tell myself that a lot lately, uh, especially with Christmas coming around. It's always good to be in a good mood. And uh, like I said, I usually am in a great mood uh, almost all the time. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of my thoughts about it. So basically, I guess the moral of the story, because I feel like a story like this should have a moral. You know, when when something's little, something little is irritating you, like... Uh, for me and my, uh, for an example, in my case, sometimes I'll I'll fight with my little brother, and we'll get into little arguments, and he'll irritate me to the point where I am so angry that, uh, you know, I just want to go punch something, and wow, that makes it sound like I have anger management. Awesome. Anyways, moving on. Uh, something so little, uh, like maybe us fighting over the remote for the TV out in the living room or eating dinner. Uh, it, it really sometimes I let that ruin my entire day, and uh, I'm starting to realize that I shouldn't. It's really not that important, you know. It's it's trivial things that really shouldn't take as big of a toll as they do. But a lot of times you you seem to you know lose track of what's really important, and uh, you know that's something that I've really been trying to work on lately. And I don't know. I think uh, it's getting better. Like I said, uh, I really sound like I have <laughs> anger management problems right now or something. But uh, really, I just felt, you know, I'm glad you guys know that. So like I said, moral of the story, uh, don't let the little things in life bug you as much as uh, you might used to. I don't know if any of you do let them bug you as much as I do. But, uh, you know, no matter what, you always have at least one thing to be thankful for. And that is the fact that you're alive and... Uh, that is also a luxury that not everybody uh, gets to enjoy. So, you know, just be thankful for that. And uh, that ends my little, you know, chat about life. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Uh, if you didn't mind it, then uh, whenever I have something on my mind like that again, I'll be uh, more eager to tell you guys about it. But, you know, be sure to let me know in the comments. I hope that didn't bring any of you down too much. Uh, I, I don't mean it in a negative way. I just really wanted to vent and... Uh, to be honest right now, I felt that uh, you guys were the perfect people to vent to. So I hope you don't mind, like I said. And uh, let's get on with the rest of the episode here. So uh, while I was talking here, I'm not sure if you noticed, but <laughs> I'm sure you did if you're still watching. But basically, we dug this little path down, which I really like how this staircase looks, uh, alternating clean stone and wooden half slabs. And then we've got this little room for our nether portal here. And then I put basically two double chests but because this room is an odd number of blocks I made it only take up uh, one block and then I just stacked them on top of each other I really like that new feature that allows you to you know stack chests on top of each other but now that I think of it I could I guess I could have had a large chest here and a large chest there but uh, to be honest one of these chests is gonna hold probably armor the other tools and weapons and then this will hold like torches and cobblestone so it's not that big of a deal that it's all broken up uh, anyways I actually have uh, the the fan off in my room because I've been trying to keep the fan off because I think it's uh, being picked up by my microphone and I was trying to avoid that but man it is hot in here now geez I'm almost like sweating I'm actually uh, in a collared shirt from school and I am burning up right now but that's okay uh, I'm not going to let that stop us. Anyway, so now we're going to fill up the chest with a couple of things. So, uh, as I said, I do want to make some tools. I think that this tool chest right here uh, up in our main storage room, this is going to be for dead tools, as you can see, uh, except for, I guess, the shears and the fishing rod. Basically, tools that we don't need. And down in our nether room down there, since the nether is kind of like a place where you go to battle, it's it's an e it's you know kind of like an evil place, that that is a perfect area for uh, kind of like an armory. Basically, we'll have swords and bows and arrows and things of that nature. So uh, I think that'll go nicely down there. It'll you know fit in perfectly. So we are going to make uh, the best armor we can afford now. Now, I know we can make a couple of diamond tools, but I'm saving the diamonds. I'm going to hoard them uh, until we have a pretty large amount of them. And the reason for that is because 
I don't want to use any diamond tools and not enchant them at our enchantment table. So I'm going to wait till we have enough uh, XP down here to enchant any tool that we decide to make. And wow, now there's actually a little fly flying around in my room. That's not irritating at all. Anyways, moving on. So uh, also because we have a, a skeleton farm, uh, you know, an XP farm, and it also drops arrows, I'm going to make a couple of extra bows to place down there because now, you know, we have the unlimited supply that we need. Anyway, so let's head on down here. I'm back down to our room. And we're going to place a workbench somewhere. I guess we'll just place it here for now, and then we can place a furnace uh, on this block over here on this side. But, you know, don't really know why, we're, why we'd need a furnace down here. Anyways, so first things first, we're going to craft a couple of iron swords. I'm sure that uh, probably three will be just plenty because uh, I don't know when I'm going to use these really. I don't know how much time I'm going to end up spending in the nether, but I'd like to spend a lot more time in the nether during this series because... Uh, in the previous series, the uh, series one, uh, or season one rather, of my Let's Play, I didn't spend too much time uh, in the nether, and I messed that up. But anyways, I would like to start, you know, doing more in the nether, building nicer bases, and uh, maybe get into making some gas traps, if that's even possible. Or uh, I keep getting suggested to make a blaze farm, which is something I'm definitely up for. I'll probably head over to Ethos Lab's channel to check out... Uh, how exactly to do that because uh, at the moment I really don't know where to even begin on that uh, anyways let's see I'm actually gonna make six iron pickaxe why not and that'll also go down here so let's place these right here one two three four you probably go like this and then just transfer them yeah that makes it a bit easier so now we need to go grab some arrows let's go and do that now, uh, obviously, guys, uh, I figured that this was pretty self-explanatory, but I am going to uh, just explain it real quick. Seeing how this episode's all about preparing for the nether, the next episode, now, mark my words, the next episode, and many episodes to follow, will be spent in the nether. And I've been asked so much to go to the nether lately, so I'm, I really hope you guys are excited that we're actually going now to spend time in the nether. If you are excited, be sure to hit the thumbs up button because... Uh, I sure am, you know, pumped up to actually start playing around in the nether. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited to get things going. Now, uh, hold on one second, guys. Here, There's going to be a bit of a cutscene. I have to close the blinds in my room and turn on my fan because I'm dying. So, one second. All right, guys, sorry for that short little cut. Uh, like I said, I was dying in my room. It was really, really hot. And... If you hear the fan now, I didn't put it on its highest setting, so hopefully you guys won't hear it uh, too much. But I, I have been realizing that my mic has been picking it up a bit. And uh, speaking of mics, I actually today went and tracked my snowball. I don't know if you guys are as excited about it as I am. Probably not. I'm sure uh, most of you aren't too concerned about which mic I'm using. But uh, it says it's going to be here by uh, the end of the day on December 8th, which I believe is Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, to be honest, it's kind of unfortunate because it said that it would arrive sometime between December 1st and December 8th. And to hear that it's not going to get here till the end of the day on the 8th, I find that kind of pointless because, uh, they get your hopes up saying that it's going to be here. You know, it could possibly be here on December 1st, and you'd expect that December 8th would be the latest date possible, and that uh, you're hoping, you know, it doesn't get here that late. But I actually kind of called it because I said right from the get-go that it probably wouldn't get here until December 8th, so uh, unfortunately, impatient me is going to have to learn to be patient this time because uh, I simply can't make them fly the box holding my microphone over to my house any faster uh, than it already is because uh, I really have no control over that. Anyways, uh, let's hop on down here. Now I believe I have three stacks of arrows on me, which is exactly perfect because uh, that'll fit nicely in the chest. Let's go here. So one, two, three. Now I know what a lot of you might be asking: Why exactly do we need three bows if? Uh, uh, you know, normally you only need one bow, but I don't know how many of you have noticed, but if you can see on the bottom of my bow here, there's actually a green bar which shows uh, its degrading level, meaning that bows actually do disappear after so many uses now. Now, uh, I don't really use the bow too often, so mine's still got a lot of, uh, I guess, 
durability on it. So mine won't be going anytime soon, but uh, regardless, it, it definitely will go eventually, especially in the nether. So the last thing we have to do is build up some armor. So uh, this is going to take a pretty heavy toll on our iron, unfortunately. Uh, but armor is pretty important, and it's something that we haven't experimented with yet. I currently don't wear any armor, even though I've got uh, a really large supply of leather that I could be using. I just simply don't care for it, to be honest. I don't get into too many battles with skeletons or whatever. Anyway, so here's our tool chest. Our armor is going to be right above, so let me see here. I guess we're going to make... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much of each thing we're going to make, but let's start off with making one suit. Now, when I make armor, I kind of like uh, to stack the armor to make it look like a real person is wearing it. So, obviously, you have the chest plate and then the legs below it. And then when you make shoes, uh, it goes below it like that. And then you make a helmet. It's not anything new. I see a ton of people on YouTube uh, stack their armor like this in the short chest. But, unfortunately, because our chests here are only small chests uh, we can't we don't have the room really to stack them but uh, if we have enough to make three of each piece which we do I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna waste that much iron though uh, I would like to eventually do that but for now we'll just make two of each suit now uh, I wanted to talk about something kind of around the YouTube go or going around the community right now uh, I know I've mentioned this guy once before his name is syndicate his channel is the syndicate project Anyways, uh, in his off-camera world, something, or not his off-camera world, his Let's Play world, his Minecraft Let's Play world, something uh, absolutely incredible happened, and it's pretty much unheard of, meaning I've never seen it happen, nobody else has ever seen it happen, a lot of people are still doubting whether or not it's legit, but on the Minecraft wiki, there was a section uh, under known bugs that said that there is a one out of a thousand chance of a spaceship crash landing on your island or, or on your world uh, therefore you know destroying a whole bunch of stuff and also uh, it, it pretty much leads to an entire city now syndicate found this spaceship it crash landed uh, in his in his like right near his house actually and it's pretty much like a spaceship balloon sort of thing uh, kind of like a hot air balloon mixed with uh, an airship. It's really, really incredible. Anyways, it ended up leading him to this entire city. And the city is so complex and so detailed that uh, even myself, I'm still skeptical about whether or not it is naturally occurring or if uh, he's pulling a trick on everybody. Now, I haven't been watching Syndicate for too long, so I don't know if he's known for... Uh, playing tricks or whatever but the, if this is legit and it was an accident you know put out by Mojang for like a really small period of time then uh, it's simply incredible you guys needed to go check it out like I said the syndicate project he is has got pretty much the greatest world now I've ever seen in Minecraft now this city that he found uh, I'm not lying when I say it probably has at least 50 buildings in it and they're all furnished with like utmost detail, like more detail than I put into my houses that I build, uh, pr uh, you know, on purpose. And uh, it's also got floating airships up in the in, up in the sky, uh, you know, just kind of chilling. They're all furnished as well. And then behind the massive city was a castle, like a really uh, large castle wall. And uh, inside the castle wall, there was like a graveyard that was all decked out and uh, a whole bunch of other buildings and kind of like a main church type building. Now, in his, late, in his latest episode, he's actually uploading at the time I'm watching this. So by the time you see this, his newest episode will be, will be out. And I don't know exactly what's going to be in it, but it's obviously going to be more exploring. But uh, for where I'm at... He has just started exploring the city, and I am not lying when I say it'll probably take close to maybe 10 episodes to explore the entire city. That's it just goes to show you how monstrous this city that he found is, and uh, it's really incredible, guys. And I know I don't give a lot of shout-outs, but uh, I'm not really doing it to help him out, seeing how he has 
uh, let's see, probably now close to 700,000 subscribers, so uh, he really doesn't need my help. Anyways, uh, I'm telling you this because I feel that it's really worth your time to go check out because uh, it's simply incredible. And look at this, guys. So I decided to do a little branch mining uh, while I talk to you about this. And here's the place we just took the obsidian from. That's pretty crazy. That'll be a, a lot easier route to get to it. And I guess that branch is pretty much done. Anyways, uh, that pretty much... Uh, I'm right around 30 minutes, guys. But uh, I wanted to talk about one last thing uh, before I finish it up. And I'm going to keep branch mining here. Now, uh, before I start talking about the thing I want to talk about... Um, what you call it? I still do plan on doing that special branch mining video that I had mentioned in the last episode. So uh, I'll probably try to get that up this weekend. Like I said, it is going to take a lot of recording because I'm going to branch mine for roughly an hour, which is a lot of footage to you know process and render. But anyways, uh, I wanted to have a little short chat about uh, hate on your YouTube video, and this is more for people starting out. And look at this, guys, yet another ravine. Whoa, I did not uh, expect to find another ravine here. This is absolutely insane. Well, uh, I, I guess I know what we'll be exploring after the nether, huh? And this quarry is done, this mine. Anyways, uh, on my last episode, actually, uh, the one right before this one, I actually got the most dislikes I've ever gotten on a video. Uh, I got five dislikes, and... I've said this once, and I'll say it again. Uh, dislikes, uh, excuse me there, dislikes honestly do not bug me. Uh, I'd be lying if I said that it didn't irritate me at first to see that I had five dislikes because uh, I like to see, and you know, I don't mind that you dislike the video, but I'm not mad at the people who disliked it. Uh, I'm mad because I know that that means that the video wasn't the best I could make it, and that people wouldn't dislike it if it was the best I could possibly do. Uh, so it, I'm frustrated a bit at myself for not making, uh, obviously, the best video that I could have made. Anyways, I wanted to talk to, uh, you know, a couple people who, like I said, are uh, aspiring YouTubers and would like to start posting videos. Uh, haters, as they're termed, is something you're always going to have to deal with no matter what. Uh, there simply is no avoiding them. If you go... Uh, to the most viewed video on YouTube, which is Justin Bieber's music video, and I cannot believe uh, I just said his name in a commentary. Anyways, uh, his his video has roughly a hundred thousand thumbs up and over two hundred thousand thumbs down. So it shows you that no matter how popular you are, how popular you are, how big your channel is, how many views you get, no matter what, there are going to be haters. Um, and the best thing to do is to ignore them. Now, in, in my opinion, there's two kind of haters. There's the haters I like and that I don't really uh, term as haters. And there's the haters I don't like. And uh, on my latest video, the, the episode that got you know the five thumbs down, uh, there was both kinds. Now, there was one guy, and I'm not exactly sure if he actually did thumbs down the video because, unfortunately, uh, there's no way of knowing who thumbs down the videos. Uh, one guy straight up told me that uh, he felt uh, when I had long periods of talking like this that I wasn't doing anything on camera and that it ended up getting really boring watching me aimlessly walk around while I talked. And at first I was pretty frustrated and then I realized that uh, he did exactly what I've been asking everybody to do. He genuinely did not enjoy that episode and he told me exactly why and he gave me actual constructive criticism. And uh, I just want to say right now, the name of the person wasn't really uh, easy to determine if it was a boy or a girl. So uh, I'm just throwing this out right now. If it was a girl, uh, I'm sorry. The reason I by default said he is because uh, on my YouTube demographics, I've got like 95% male and then 5% female. So uh, if it was a girl who said it, uh, I'm not trying to be offensive. I have no clue. Anyways... Uh, you know, the person straight up told me how I could improve, basically. Uh, he wasn't probably writing the comment to tell me how to improve. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a great way to end the episode, huh? Anyways, uh, the person straight up told me how I could improve. They said, basically, you know, 
uh, without knowing that they were helping me improve. They they informed me that I needed to do something while I'm talking. Hence the fact that I'm branch mining right now. Uh, I've got really no reason to be branch mining, but I had a lot of things that I want to talk to you guys about. And I think I've done a pretty good job this episode of keeping busy while I was talking. When I was talking about, you know, having a bad day, I was setting up the, you know, uh, what you would call it, the nether portal without even, you know, stopping or taking a break. So, uh, though what frustrated me at first, I've actually taken the constructive criticism and, you know, I feel like I've already improved just a little bit. And... Uh, the other kind of hater is the one that simply dislikes the video, and they either A, don't leave a comment at all, you don't have any way to improve there, or B, they basically say, you know, hey, the video sucked, and that's it. And you can ask them as much as you want to tell uh, you why it sucked, and they simply won't do it because, uh, in all honesty, they probably just don't like you as a YouTuber, but don't take it personally. Uh, you know, people have the ability to hide under just a sort of username uh, on YouTube, which is unfortunate. Anyways, let's mine the diamonds real quick. Oh, yeah, four diamonds. All right, let's throw it up like CoStar. <laughs> there we go. Anyways, let's walk back up to our service now as I finish talking here. But uh, those kind of haters, uh, they don't really help you out. Unfortunately, they're just something that you're going to have to deal with because... Uh, you can't make them comment and help you out and give you real constructive feedback. It's really up to them. But to the person that actually did tell me how I can prove, I really do thank you. Uh, and if you didn't dislike the video, you're even more awesome. But regardless, uh, the, the best thing you can do for a YouTuber, to any of you who just simply watch people play videos like me, uh, the best thing you can do if you didn't enjoy their video is to tell them what you didn't like about it because... Uh, it really does help them improve. Now, obviously, uh, maybe people like White Boy Seventh Street, uh, people who have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, they probably don't read all their comments, and that's for the simple fact that they can't. They have way too many comments. They get like 20,000 comments a video, and uh, to be honest, guys, I don't know if I would sit through 20,000 comments even reading them, let alone replying. But uh, like I said, the best thing you can do is to tell people you know what they did wrong because it really it really does help me out and like I said now I know you know try to keep busy when I'm talking and it'll keep people more entertained and it'll keep people's attention span you know satisfied and things like that so uh, you know I'm really fine with that and like I always say uh, I, you know dislikes really don't bother me uh, what I care mostly about is the number of views uh, comments, just like the Mind Fiend always says, comments uh, are awesome. I know I don't give enough credits to comment, but uh, if I ever were to put a video camera uh, on my face while I'm reading comments, just like I do every single day, uh, you guys would see the biggest smile because it is a lot of fun uh, just to have people willing to comment and talk to you. And uh, I know I've gone way over 30 minutes here, but I do have a lot to vent about, so I guess I'll go kill some mobs. See, look at this. I'm still doing something while I'm talking, so I, I think I'm improving. Hopefully, you guys think the same. Anyways, so for those of you starting YouTube, let me get uh, to the end of my story here. Just know that uh, they, the kind of haters that don't help you out at all, unfortunately, you're just going to have to let you know your anger go about them, you know. Uh, maybe punch your pillow, or, uh, I don't know. Oh, God! Oh, I got lucky there. I could have easily died. Anyways, you know, like I said, punch your pillow, or scream, or something like that. Uh, something, you know, just to kind of get rid of your anger. But, uh, to the, to the, to the people that actually are willing to help you out and give you some good constructive criticism... Uh, make sure you thank them because even though it might irritate you that you didn't get positive feedback on your video, uh, it can only help you improve, which is always a good thing. So anyway, guys, I feel like this episode has been very talky, but we have got a lot done. We're going to go to the nether in the next episode and probably the next three or four episodes after that, which is something I'm very excited about. And after that, we will build our lighthouse and explore that new ravine we found. So I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 31 of our Minecraft Let's Play. Be sure to hit the thumbs up video if you did. Uh, the comment section is always open to you guys. Leave as much feedback or suggestions as you want. And other than that, guys, have a great day. Take it easy. Peace!